It looks like we have a new collection coming to Beauty Creations and it's a collaboration between them and Rosie McMichael. It's apparently the second collaboration that they've done now, I gotta say. I don't know who Rosie McMichael is, but that's because I'm old and I'm not cool and I'm, I'm not here with the finger on the pulse. A massive thank you to Trend Mood. I took their photos, but I also took some photos from Makeup On Your Radar. So mwah, thank you very much, appreciate. Let's talk about this. There's quite a bit in this, including a 30 pan eyeshadow palette, but it's beauty creation. So they've managed to keep the cost down quite a bit. So if you actually wanted every single thing, you could get this in a PR box, including an exclusive mirror for $115. It's going to come out on November 9th. So keep that in mind if you are looking for it. So the palette itself is retailing for $30. It's very kind of blue toned, like a blue toned purple with that kind of pop of bright pink. There's a lot of neutrals in there. So you can get a lot of like safe everyday sort of eyeshadow looks from it. I think there's a decent amount of versatility from this. However, I could dupe this out of my current collection. But again, I'm an idiot and have a lot of stuff. Do I feel like $30 is not is a decent price for this? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I think $30 for 30 shades is pretty good. I'm going to be super interested to see some like reviews and swatches, etc. of this because I haven't seen any yet. And that's going to be the big determinant here because the shades themselves could look nice, but we don't know what they're actually going to operate for. $30 is cheap, but if it's not usable, ugh, that's $30 wasted. I will say I really like the look of the not so classic lip trio, which... I'm sorry, but that is a classic lip trio. I, I don't get why you're saying it's not so classic. Like a neutral lip is a classic thing. I like the look of the lip liner, the gloss and the lipstick looks really, really pretty. Again, however, I'd like to see this either swatched or actually I'm going to say both swatched and also on the lips across multiple skin tones because I want to see what the undertones of this is actually going to look like. They then have the Liquid Chroma Trio for $25. So it looks like one of them is like that sort of general shade that we've seen before, like a, a red to green. Then there's like a purple to blue. But the more interesting one there is like the lighter shade. We don't see a lot of more like opalescent multichromes. So that I think is quite intriguing. The other two shades, not so much. They're almost like, I don't want to say a dime a dozen, but we've seen a lot of those at this point. And I cannot be the only one. Please tell me I'm not the only one, but this is giving me one size vibes. Just the layout of it and kind of the way that they've presented it, it reminds me of that. But it's the highlight trio and it's retailing for $18. I think this is nice. However, I will always say this with every single launch, if you're doing a highlighter thing, make it so that they're inclusive for lots of different people. Put out a selection. It just doesn't make sense otherwise. And this one, honest to God, if you cannot see the one size vibes here, I, I think maybe I might be off in my own world, but I feel like this is very one size-esque. This is the Dream Blush Trio for $18. It looks pretty. Like, it's fine. I actually think this is really, really nice. I think this would work for quite a few people. I feel particularly like that red is going to look gorgeous on deeper skin tones. And it does feel like you get quite a bit for that $115. Like it's an entire collection. And I feel like this would make a really, really great like Christmas or holiday gift. This is very much what this is geared towards, I think. It's not bad at all. The price is decent. I've heard some decent stuff about beauty creations in terms of like their quality. But I can't personally vouch for them because I haven't tried them. And I don't want to like totally... Uh, be fraudulent on this and be like oh yeah it's great when I haven't actually tried it that's that's silly that's a no-no I'll be super interested to see some reviews on this and to see some swatches that's going to be very telling the palette itself reminds me a little bit of the BH Cosmetics uh, blueberry palette but also their like Midnight in Paris palette I feel like there's a lot of stuff there that I could dupe from that but it's not bad at all let me know what you guys think are you into this or no